The amount of money in my wallet went from 1870 to 1780. Did it increase or decrease? Well, it went from 18 to 17. That is a decrease. Rewrite 0.53 as a percent. 0.53 as a percent is 53%. Solve the equation. 30 equals 0.75x. I'm going to divide this side by 0 0.75. And I'm going to divide this side by 0 0.75. 30 divided by 0 0.75 is 40. And this side, 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.75 is 1. So 1x, which is just x. Answer is 40. Whoops, one more. A bag of M&Ms has a total of 40 pieces. 35% are green. If you want to find out how many green ones there are, we need to find the part, the percent, or the whole. So the percent is the 35%. It has a total of 40. That's the whole. We want to know how many are green, so that would be the part. Okay, there's today's COVID meme. Um, some of you do need to finish your test. If you are at home and have not done so, please shoot me an email, and we'll get that taken care of. I can email it to you so you can do it from home. Today we did this self-start review, and then we're going to continue our percent increase decrease with the objective that you can calculate percent increase by being able to calculate it for your own personal numbers. What formula should you use to find percent increase or decrease? Difference over original, or you can say percent over original, or excuse me, change over original equals percent over 100. This is my favorite formula. Some of the other math teachers in the building like this one. I want to give them both to you just to see if they're with both forms. It means the same thing. Difference over original, change over original. Um, increase versus decrease. Increase means your number is going up. Decrease means it's going down. Oftentimes a decrease will look like a negative number. When you go to calculate percent change, you might end up with a negative number. The negative number just means that you did a decrease. Okay, last Tuesday I was able to eat eight tacos. Today I could only eat six tacos. What is my percent decrease? So I went from eating... New minus old, so I now I ate negative two less than last time over my original eight. That'd be a negative um, two of negative two divided by eight times one hundred gives me negative twenty five percent. So or a twenty five percent decrease. Okay, our next one. For Christmas Day, Destiny's family got a puppy that weighed 13 pounds. This week, the puppy weighed 17.16 pounds. What is the percent increase of the puppy's weight? So we do 17.16 minus 13. And the puppy has gained 4.16 pounds. And then I do 4.16 over the original. And the original was 13 pounds equals x over 100. 4.16 times 100 divided by 13 gives me, typing it in my calculator, 30.89%. And I 8.9 could win around the point. Nine. Okay. Last January, LeBron James rookie card sold for $150. This January, the same card sold for $275. What is the percent increase? So I do 275 minus 150, and I get 125, and then I do 125 over what was the original amount. The original amount was 150. That's the oldest number, equals x over 100. Type into my calculator, and I get 83.33333%. Last week, the seven-day average for COVID cases in Boxer County was 2,548. This week, the seven-day average is 1,795. What is the percent change? Those are actually two numbers, FYI. 25, 2548 minus 1,795 equals 753. 753 over our original 2548 equals x over 100. Gives me 29.6%. To do that, I did two ways you could do that one. Hang on, that's where it was. I could say 753 
divided by 2548 times 100, or I could do 753 times 100 divided by 2548. Either way works. Last week, 4.7 in 5 people out of 100 had been vaccinated for COVID in the United States. This week, 6.6% people out of 100 have been vaccinated. What is the percent change? So I would say 6.6 .6 minus 4.75 gives me 1.85. 1.85 over last week's number, the old number, equals x over 100. 1.85 divided by 4.75 times 100 gives me 38.9%. And that also is true numbers according to a quick Google search. Now, that doesn't say 38.9% of the population has been vaccinated. That's to say there's a 38% increase in how many people have been vaccinated. Okay, your homework for today, you're going to finish yesterday's homework assignment if you haven't already. And then today, I would like you to go through and calculate 3% changes that interest you. You must do at least one increase and one de decrease. And they can be your personal numbers, i.e. how many points you scored at a basketball game or numbers found online. How many points your favorite athlete scored at a basketball game. Does not have to be basketball. It can be COVID numbers. You can look at any of the examples we just did in the PowerPoint for ideas. You can just find two numbers that you find interesting, numbers scored at the Super Bowl. You can do numbers, video game numbers. You can do how much my parents spend on groceries. You can do how much money I have in savings versus how much I used to have. You can do personal numbers. You can do general numbers to pick your favorite star, how much money they have versus last year versus how much money they have now. The possibilities are endless. I need to just write down the old number, write down the new number, and what they represent. Points I scored in the first game, points I scored in the second game. Make sure if you are choosing something personal that it's something you're okay sharing. I don't need to know your personal information. So if you do choose something personal, just make sure it's something you're okay with people me knowing. Then go ahead and calculate the percent change. And that's it. Your homework's done. You got this. Have a great day.